Hello everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can record from a physical input on your sound card. Let's first jump into the preferences. Now the first scenario we'll go through is going to be the one where I have an ASIO driver. In that case, I'll click here and I'll select ASIO driver as my audio driver and out of the device list, I'll choose the device that I'm going to use. That will be this Fireface USB sound card. Now, once I've selected that, I can go into the input outputs list and I can see all of the inputs and all the outputs that I have on my sound card. Right here, I can enable them or disable them. As you can see, this is the mono one and two, and this offers these mono one and two inputs separately from all the audio tracks input menus. And this will offer those same one and two inputs as a stereo pair. Now, my microphone is plugged into my sound card in the input number one. If it was input number seven, I would just have to enable this and that will be it. Seeing how you have the proper input selected right here, we can close this menu, close preferences, and we can get on to recording. I will create a new audio track. I will be creating a monophonic audio track since I'm recording a monophonic input. That's one microphone plugged into one input. So create, I can rename this track to microphone, just like that. And first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that this track is armed for recording. Now the next thing is going to be selecting the proper input for this track. I have to tell Soundbridge which input I want to record from. And therefore, I'll click the input menu. I'll go into the external devices, ASIO Fireface USB, that's my sound card. And out of all those inputs that I have enabled, remember in that menu, I'll choose the input number one. This is where my microphone is plugged in. Now that this is done, I can enable monitoring and I will hear my voice through the speakers. Be careful when doing this, since this can cause an infinite feedback. The best method for recording would be for you to plug in headphones into your sound card and monitor that way and turn off your speakers. This way you avoid having a feedback loop that could damage your speakers or your ears even worse. I don't need monitoring. I can just start recording right here. I can turn off the loop and I can press record. And this is going to record everything I just said, just like that. That's my vocal. You can see the waveform being generated. Now let's go through the scenario where I'm using a different driver. I'll enter preferences and I'll change my sound card driver to MME. When using an MME driver, I can use as an input any device plugged into my computer. It does not have to be from the same sound card. So my input device and my output device do not have to be the same device. Now for my input device, from this long list, I will select the USB microphone I have, this one, and from the output device list, I will select the output that I want to use, and that's gonna be my speakers on this sound card. So you see different devices used for the input and the output, which is not the case in ASIO. Now that this is done, I can click on the input output. Of course, I only have these inputs, so I can close that. And right now in this input selection box, yeah, see that I can go into external, Headset microphone, that's my microphone, and I can use the mono. Of course, again, I can monitor what I'm saying. See that? I could hear that through my speakers or in my headphones, which is much smarter. But right now I'm going to disable that, bring my playback all the way to the beginning, start recording whatever I'm saying. So you see, this actually works. I can play that back, let's play it. Start recording whatever I'm saying. So you see, this actually works. There you go. This is how you record a physical input on your sound card. So to resume once again, we go into the preferences, we select our input device, make sure that the input on that input device where we have plugged in our physical device is enabled, and then select that input from this menu right here, okay? And then arm it, record, done. If this track was not armed, it wouldn't record anything. You can see that now I press record, nothing happens. The arming button tells Soundbridge which tracks are supposed to record once you press record on the transport bar. Have fun recording. <laughs>